Picture this, it's 2013, you're in computer class and you open up a new tab to play some Flash games. Think games like Alien Hominid, Papa's Pizzeria, Fancy Pants Adventures, Balloons Tower Defense 3. Everybody and their mom has childhood memories of these games, but do they still hold up in 2024? Today, we will play through 20 of the most popular Flash games, and we will rank them in a tier list from shit's gas to straight Duke. All right, what do you guys want to play first? You guys seem to really like Papa's Pizzeria, so let's, <laughs> let's hop in to Papa's Pizzeria first and we'll play through this. Does that bug you guys for me to say that I've never played a Papa's game before? Not a single one. Not Papa's Pizzeria, Papa's Freezeria, Papa's Diarrhea. I've never played any of them. All right, let's jump in here. New safe slot. Johnny Relegs. Oh, there's an intro. I didn't know it was like this. Clocking into the job. Why is he built like that? <laughs> What do you mean, Smash? I didn't even raise that question. Day one, we're open for business. Okay, what's going on, man? Let's take his order. What do you want? Okay. He wants... What the... F what did he just say? What do I do? Drag to the ticket line. Okay. <laughs> but the... But the... This is complicated. What's going on? I'm waiting for those two to match up. Now the pizza's done. We swipe it out. Cut it in half. Wait, we'll, we'll try that again. Oh, fuck. Guys, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling so hard. How do I get rid of the other, the other half of the pizza? You're atrocious. Give me time to learn. Okay. Yeah! We got a tip! $1.98, baby. I think I got the hang of it now. Eight pepperonis. Two in each quadrant. How does that sound? Eight peps. Throw it into the oven. Pizza's done. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Boom. Boom. Cut into fourths. Looks good. What do you think, buddy? Yeah! Yeah! Kingsley is loving it! I'm giving this poor man coronary heart disease. I sold two pizzas today. Plugging Papa's Pizzeria into the tier list. I think this game is still good. I'm sure the, like, actual Steam versions of the games are, like, way better. But, like, there's a lot of depth to what's going on there, so I, I fuck with it. All right, the next game is Robot Unicorn Attack. Another game that I'm unfamiliar with, but when I looked up 20 best Flash games of all time, everybody really was standing this game. So we'll see what's going on with it. Press Z to make your wishes come true. Goth girlfriend, goth girlfriend, goth girlfriend. Ah! I get three wishes. Three goth girlfriends. Why is it so... Why is he decapitated? Okay, this time will go much better. So it's just an endless runner. Oh, I can dash. This is kind of tight. Oh, there we go. I got to dash through those. Dude, I'm feeling good. Plugging in robot unicorn attack. You guys think it's straight Duke? But if I was a but if I was a child, I might No, you guys are right. That game was ass. The Millionaire's Quiz. Pick a theme. Technology, baby. I'm about to get a million dollars. If I win this, they have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Question number one. Which of these is a valid email address? Adam at gmail.com. Yes, no, that's the answer I want. Nice. We're in. That's the easiest $100 I've ever made in my life. Now that I got money, you guys can't treat me any different, okay? The Apple logo featured which famous mathematician? I don't know! It's not Blaise Pascal. It's probably Isaac Newton, but he's not a mathematician, is he? He's a physicist. Because of the Apple, Pythagoras is actually a mathematician. I'm gonna put Isaac Newton just because he did the Apple thing, so it makes sense. I kind of want to smack this little smirk off this Johnny Bravo looking motherfucker's face. I'm not going to lie. Where's the headquarters of Apple? This guy's like, I need questions for a quiz. I'm going to go to the Apple Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't know. New York? All right, whatever. This game fucking sucks anyway. That is a dookie game. Maybe the worst Flash game ever created. Moving on. This is a classic chat. What happened here? Oh, it has its own player. Okay, I was so worried. They opened up a hyperlink. I just thought it was going to be porn. Game speed? Uh, fast. All right, we're back, baby. So this is, this is it. This was maybe the most popular game. In terms of like my school, everybody was playing Run. You were a loser if you were not playing this game. They'd be like, oh, I got to level 10. And then like, that's how you knew you were popular. Can we get to level 10? I can get to level 10. I'm a platforming genius. I'm the Tony Hawk of platforming flash games. I didn't even have to use the walls. We'll just do some long jumps. Moving on, level six. This guy is gaming! I'm dialed in. I'm into the mainframe. My mind has reduced strictly to ones and zeros. 
Nothing existed before or after this. All that is, is run. This is what it looks like after I smoke the DMT cart. Wait guys, why are we goaded with the sauce? What's the speed run world record? I'm about to break the 80% world record. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh dude, I'm so I'm so in. Watch this, I'm gonna flex on. All right. <laughs> Stupid game. All right, plugging in run into the tier list. I think it's still good. It's not like gas. Like I'm not itching, I'm not scratching at my neck, like making sure I gotta play run. I played this game all the time when my grandma was in hospice. I'm, this game's ass, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, a, that was actually very sad. Are you okay, buddy? I love you. I hope you're doing all right. Ooh, next, this is the one I was excited for, chat. Out of all of these Flash games, this is the one that I put the most hours into. Bloons, Tower Defense, three! Now there's probably like seven of these things now, but for whatever reason, the third one really put the franchise on the map. And this was huge in my school. This was elementary school. I would have been maybe 12 years old when I played this game. And now look at me, a Chad playing it again. <laughs> and you gotta go tax shooter in the top left. Extra range and that should do it, right? Wait, <laughs> Chad, I, I messed up. We'll give it super range. And this is the one. Dial in Chad, dial in. Nice. Yup. Yup. Damn it! Let's go one more round and then just throw some road spikes right here. Or maybe I should have used monkey glue. Please tell me Fireboy and Water Girl is on the list. It might be. 273 so we can get our blade shooter. Look how dope this thing is. All right, chat. The plan is simple. We're playing until we get a super monkey. Buy a dart monkey? Never. All right, fine. Oh, please, dear God. Oh, dear God. Dear God, get the... Get that balloon! That guy slipped right past the defense. That was a slippery little piece of rubber. Wait, oh God. Chat, we're getting fucked. Oh, d <laughs> I didn't know it was a timed explosion. I was way off. It might be a good idea. So let's keep all these guys to first. We're gonna throw a spike a pult right here. We're gonna set it for last. So that way the ball goes all the way down the lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, check this out. See, now look at this. Look at this, he's taking up the rear. <laughs> Why does that phrase sound so funny? I'm trying to take up some rear, honestly. All right, spike -a this green balloon's all on you, buddy. <laughs> you had one job. All right, so we're at 17, so what if? 1,400, let's sell, screw the dart monkey. Sell this. Super monkey is on the field. He's in. Look at him go. I think this goes without saying, but Balloons Tower Defense 3 is still gas. I think that game is still fantastic. There's nothing that triggers my dopamine receptors more than having a super monkey just laser in darts. Like that one scene from Elf where he's throwing a bunch of snowballs really fast. Next is Sugar Sugar. This is one that I never really got into, but I'm open to learning more about it. Level one, why not? Draw with your mouse so you can get enough sugar in the cup. That's it? That's the whole game? This is a baby game. What are we talking about? I'm also diabetic. I can't play this game. Wait. Oh, what? <laughs> It'll overflow eventually, right? It'll overflow. This soundtrack is crazy. This was it during math class. This would, this would help me pass the time for sure. White sugar in the white cup, red sugar in the red cup. Put it through the filter. Uh... Shit, okay, wait, wait, hold on, I gotta think this through. So we're gonna do, let's just do a small one here and then we'll draw this one in half. There we go, wait, what? Am I stupid? I thought it was supposed to go through the filter. That was the filter, no? Wait, am I dumb? I'm so confused. Bro, help, why are you laughing at me? Hold on, I gotta test my theory. This is the filter, right? If it goes through the middle, it turns red. There's something that I'm not getting. Don't point and laugh at me, help me! To color the sugar, send it through, Stupid game anyway. Uh, realistically though, I think this isn't a Duke game, but maybe to pass the time, you'd play a little sugar sugar. Or if I was a child, I would be down for either of those. So let's go and we'll, we'll knock out another Titan of a flash game, Alien Hominid. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now this is a game by Ton Fulp, the person who made Castle Crashers, which is one of my favorite games of all time. They're trying to get me to download the PS2 game? That's so cute, stop. Aim up and down, A and S to shoot. S is jump, A, whoa. Bro had him decapitated off rip. Who's that jackass? Whoop, the fat cake eater. Oh shit, oh my God, we're in it. Am I dead already? 
What is going on? All right, hold on. All right, hold up. Guys, I'm getting my ass beat. Okay. S is jump. All right. How did I? Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I have no... There is no... There is no... Leave me alone! There is no time to think. Surely there's something I'm not getting. What was that? Why was that so hard? It was a skill issue? Okay. I'll just be better this time. I'm just gonna start doing that. Why am I, am I humping him? Why am I teabagging this guy? Yep. Okay. Oh, dude, he's terrified. Okay, this that's the move. There's a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie, this game's sick as shit, though. <laughs> this reminds me of Rampage World Tour from the N64. Did anybody play that game? All right, chat. Surely I get 10,000 points. <laughs> what is going on? What was go? What was that? Happy. Plugging Alien Hominid into the tier list. This is still a good game, but it, the difficulty apparently is way too high for me. We have another cult classic, one of the more popular games that I remember from growing up. This one was played by what felt like everybody. Everybody who's anybody was playing Block Soars. The aim of the, <clears throat> the aim of the game is to get the block to fall into the square hole at the end of each stage. There are 33 stages to complete that's enough i get i get it it's not that deep i knew so many people who played this game and i never understood it all right we'll run this from the top chat oh <laughs> wait a minute oh you see the movement johnny can't put it in the hole never once in my life have i all right so our goal inevitably is to have it laying on its side right there that's what we're looking for we need it we need it to lay flat on those two going to the right side e equals mc squared pythagorean theorem i'm in i'm in i found the hole maybe to pass the time or if i was a child i would be more interested there's just like there's not enough going for it i'm not actually using my brain to do it i'm literally just mashing arrow keys until eventually it looks like it's going to work i really put some man hours into this one welcome one and all to the world's hardest game Tell me that soundtrack doesn't trigger something in your brain. This was me if I was a game because I'm hard as hell. All right, hold on. Dude, check me out. Come on. Who is this cat? I'll beat the first five levels. No problem. Boom. Got it. On to the next one. Easy clap. And we follow it up. I can guarantee you will fail. Check this out then. <laughs> All right, hold on. They weren't. They, hold on. They're, they're not watching close enough. There we go. I feel a song in my soul. There he is. That one was easy. They were kidding. They were bluffing. Boom. Don't jump right into a level you've never played before. How about bite me? Measure it out. Level five. Ha! Oh! Ha! Oh! Okay. So the next safe space is this white one. And then after that, it is the next dark one. Dark space. Almost. I was a pube hair away from getting hit right there. The inner white square. Gotcha. And now, time. Is it, it's not. Maybe to pass the time. I don't think it's like good. But if I was like young and I was like, oh my God, the hardest game ever made, I gotta make sure I beat it. I put a lot of hours into that game, but it's not really blowing my mind in, in retrospect. The impossible quiz. Everybody loves the impossible quiz. I used to do speed runs of this game. How many holes in a polo? Four, because there's one, two, three, four. Can a match box? No, but a tin can. This is backwards. KO. Click the answer. I, Dude, don't touch the blue. Bet I'll go on the outside of it. Shallots. The smallest dot is up here. What sound does a bell make? It's got to be blip, blop, bloop, bang, -a -a woof. Blue, orange, green, green, yellow. Seal. First one. Plus one. Skip. Bran. V and lives. Shoe polish. Arse facey. 28. A bun dance. Egg mayonnaise. Green. Triple Wolf, Baby Jam, seven! Guys, P.S. No! Not a very good game at all, actually. Incredibly mid. But maybe if I was a child, it would be very funny. Now, this one might be a little bit more niche. This was crazy to me because I just recently found out that this game was made by the person that made Getting Over It. The Fadian games were made on Fadi.net 
and this was one of the first ones ever. I remember playing this literally when I was like nine years old. The concept is simple. You can control the, the thighs and the calves, and your job is to run. Your job, sorry, I was, my fingers got mixed up. Your job is to, is to run. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yup. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, 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 shit. This was you guys after New Year's Eve, I bet. What if I just, I will beat this chat, I swear. Oh, wait, what is the right play here? We'll go, okay, wait a minute. We're running, chat, we're running. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. If you wake up in the morning and take the steps towards something, you will get there. It's not about the instant gratification. It's not about the success. It's about the endurance. It's about enjoying the journey. No, no! All right, Quop, maybe if I was a child. Quop walked so that Wop by Cardi B could run because this guy sure as hell couldn't run. Simply click on the square to begin. Press the big red button. Press the rectangle. Red button twice. <sighs> This <laughs> stupid game. In fact, that one is straight Duke. It's down there with the likes of Unicorn whatever the hell. It was just a bunch of PNGs. The Impossible Quiz at least had some personality to it. This one I'm kind of excited for. I remembered really liking this game as a kid. Welcome to B Cubed. I think you literally just put yellow cube on red cube. This is Johnny level things. I can understand this. Oh, but you have to, n okay. But you have to clear every one of the cubes. I'm a dog at this. I'm kind of a dog. It reminds me of the one puzzle of the ice gym in Pokemon. What is that? I think it's generation four Pokemon. Crazy. Yep. Moving and grooving. Level five complete. Okay, wait. Wait, this is tough. Uh-oh. Gotta use the brain. Wait, yes. Go down and then go this way. Well done, Johnny. Well done, Johnny. The final challenge, level 10. It's thinking time. Throw on my thinking cap. Oh, check me out. So we'll save that for later. We'll just stay to the top. We'll come back down this. What the hell happened there? Boom! Gamer alert! I would say that B cubed is another maybe. I'm noticing a trend that a lot of the games are incredibly mid. We're strategically saving the best ones for last right now. This game was the talk of the town, dude. This game had its own commercials and shit. Okay, draw a line. All right. So you're essentially... Oh, and then it makes... Oh, okay, I remember. So we're literally just making a course. That's kind of whack, actually. That's kind of stupid. People really loved this game, though. Let's humor them a little bit. Something like this. How's this look? Look at him go. Yeah, we did it! I hate this game. There's so many people that have Line Rider as like such a, a primitive, nostalgic, and beautiful piece of their of their young childhood heart. But I'm gonna have to take that, throw it on the ground, stomp it, and spit on it because that game is butt. That game is dookie. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. You just draw lines. You gotta pull up a YouTube video to show off how far it fell off. Hold on. Wait, hold on. This is kind of tight. Yeah, it's your boy and I'm riding on lines. Everybody knows that your boy's online. Hey, spitting real quick. Everybody knows I be sucking on dick. Wait a minute. This is kind of cool though. Okay, three, two, one, it's down. Okay, yeah, this is a super cool track, but the game is still butt. <laughs> that didn't change anything in my mind at all. This is Fireboy and Water Girl. Get both of them to the end of the course and pick up their respective gems. But what's so fun about this game is that I'm using the arrow keys and the WASD keys so you can play this with one of your buddies, which is super exciting. Green goo hurts them both? Gross. Let's send this guy up first. The buttons though must be held. Don't teach me, I'm not a baby. I wish they ran a little bit faster. What is this run speed? Surely you can run faster than this. Automatically a top tier game? I don't know if you guys are gonna be happy with me. All right, we'll shove this to the side. We'll follow him up. Don't forget to grab some diamonds. And then we go to the side and we jump. Wow. Maybe if I was a child. It's not straight Duke, but I'm not blown away by it. I'd say it's at the top of the maybe tier, but like right now, there's never going to be a day in my life where I will be itching 
or have any inclination to go play water girl, whatever the hell. You're playing it alone, it doesn't count, I suppose. But I'm always alone anyway. All I know is pain. Let's try out this is the only level. What's cool about this one is that it legitimately is only one level, but it just changes. Oh shit. All right, hold on. Why are the gravity is terrible. Okay. There we go. What is this one? Think before doing. Okay, so the button is bad on this one. Nice. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm losing brain cells playing that shit. That, that game is absolutely dookie, dude. It, what, it was a, a cool concept, I guess. Cool in theory, but I'm just, I don't even think I liked it when I was a kid. I was like, dude, this is boring. When I could go home and just play like Mario 64? Like, come on. Fancy Pants Adventure. Somebody joined the stream earlier and was like, dude, please play Fancy Pants Adventure. So left and right to move, S to jump, duck while on a slant to roll. Sounds good to me. All right, we're in. We'll see what's so cool about this. It's loud as shit. God, the audio is peaking. We'll see if I shit on it or not. All right, well, okay, you can jump off things. Whoopsies. I think the art direction is super cool. How do you roll again? I forget. Oh, that was cool. I like this. And this song bangs. It's over here. Is that a secret? Dude, I found a secret. Well, well, what do we have here? I see you found the wall jump power up I was saving for later. Wait, this is kind of based. Wait, oh shit. All right, I drowned to death. That was kind of based. You kind of like broke the fourth wall and gave me an ability early. That's kind of sick. This game seems tight as hell. Okay, wait. <laughs> Give me a sec, give me a sec. A lot of like Flash games were trying to be more than what they are and it would make it look cringe. This guy knew this game's gonna look like asshole, so how do I at least make it like endearing? Oh my God. The movement. Whoa, whoops. I pressed the wrong button, but I guess that, that that's enough. That's all I needed. It is fun to play. It is fun to control. The art direction is good. I think, I think that shit's gas, actually. I think that's a solid game. Like, I would sit down and play through Fancy Pants Adventures. Why not, you know? So as we're down to the final four, we have two games in the S tier category. Will any of these join them in the illustrious ranking? Chat, I kind of lied to you. I said that I was going to play the most well-known games in the final five. However, here I am playing Siobhan Action, also known as Cat Mario. And the reason why this game has such a grip on the mind of Johnny Bebop is because this was the first game I ever streamed. The very first Johnny Bebop stream that ever aired, as soon as the pandemic hit, was me playing this game for three hours. It's very difficult for no reason. There's gonna be little guys that fall from the sky here. You ready? Oh! All right, there we go. And then you gotta jump over the flagpole. <laughs> All right, this is the run. <laughs> All right, hold on. You guys weren't looking. Pay attention now. This is the gameplay you're gonna be showing your children for gener- We're in, we're in. Ah! Stupid game. I think it's still good. I would recommend it to somebody who's like trying to do a rage challenge or somebody that's into more difficult games. I think that's definitely a game to look into. Next, the most impressive Flash game ever made. And that is Super Smash Flash. This game is still played to this day. There are tournaments for Super Smash Flash going on right now. Who is our character today, chat? Let's do... Who the fuck is Blake? Blade. Blade looks sick as hell, dude. What if we put it on hard difficulty? I don't even know the controls. Dude, this is so dope. Okay. What are the controls? All right, so jump is O and P is attack. <laughs> Did he just jump off the level? Easiest game of my life. Why does Mario look like that? No shot he's that tall. Okay. Game. Most impressive. Oh, it's break the targets. Here we go, Johnny. This is all you, buddy. Controls are a little way rougher than I remember. 
I feel like I'm playing three seconds in the past. All right, don't worry, I'll get it this time. Don't worry, I'll get it this time. Guys, I'm missing a target. Oh, there it is. New record. New record. Yeah, Link, get ready. Uh-huh. Yup. Yup. Get the fuck out of here. Ah! He back aired him. Kirby. That's a lot of Kirby's. There we go. There we go. A little dash attack. Uh. Oh. Oh. Dude, he's off stage. Whoa! The combo? I'm a, I'm a freaking task bot right now. Get off me, Kirby! Ah! All right. <laughs> Dude, he's so butt. He's so washed. Oh! Ow! Ow! Super Smash Flash. Of course, that's the first one. There's three new ones that have come out that are like way better now. But I think it's still good. And it's probably up here somewhere. I adore this game. I think this is a brilliant, brilliant game. A brilliant piece of internet history. And if you're unfamiliar, let me welcome you all to Duck Life. So you own a huge farm and are making tons of money. When one day a tornado comes along and destroys it all. The only thing that survives is a single duck egg. So you have to train this duckling into a racing duck to make enough money to rebuild the farm. And that's that, motherfucker, we're in! Here we are, here's my little guy. Look, I'm gonna feed him! Uh, come on, eat up, baby. Eat up, little duckling. He's been fed, we enter a race, why not? He's got it, here we go. Come on, little guy, don't be shy. Oh no, Chatty's losing. I ran out of energy. He's butt. Oh, we need to train. That was the problem. Let's train our running. Okay, here we go. I forgot to train him. There we go. There we go. And then when we collect these dots, my camera's in the way of my duckling right now. There we go. For the time being. All right, we, we got our asses beat anyway. So now our running is level six, but we don't have enough energy. So we'll have to go to the duck shop and buy seed. What a great game. Yes! Oh, we're dead. We still picked it up though. Running level 14. There's zero shot these bozos are gonna be able to take me in a race. It's game time, baby. Cluck Norris, make us proud! Come on, baby. Hold, hold, hold. Yes! He did it! Duck Life, is it gas? There's like four Duck Life games. I would go... I think it's still good, but it's on it's on the top of the still good list. I don't think it's quite shit's gas yet. Maybe one of the later Duck Life games are really good. That one gets really fun once you like raise your duck for a significant amount of time. But we are down to arguably... No, it's not even arguably. I think this is the most popular Flash game. Some of the biggest creators on the internet ever, like PewDiePie, who quite literally was the biggest creator on the internet, was born from this game. And that game is Happy Wheels. Okay, so I, ah, fuck, go, go, go! All right, from the top, this is the one. Now, see you later, bitches, Woo! Have you guys heard that sound in the last 10 years? Isn't that what PewDiePie used to do? Am I still alive? Surely I'm still alive, it's just a flesh wound, okay? Yup. Yeah, baby. Oh, I'm gaming. Chad, I'm gaming. Oh, hold it steady, Frankie. Hold it steady, baby. We don't need arms. Oh, get there. Get there. Get there. I saw the flag. Yes! Victory is ours. But what's so great about this game was that the community is what keeps it going. Someone just made this today. People are still playing Happy Wheels to this day and just made this course today. Okay, wait, still not moving. Wait, yeah, you know, the illustrious mouth rocket. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, awesome. And then whatever those levels are, you can add them to your favorites. I cannot believe this many people still play Flash Happy Wheels. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah! I want to get this guy in the back real quick. Ah! All right, we gotta work on the release. Yeah! Wait, sorry, there's a little seppuku on accident. Give me more, please! <laughs> you! <laughs> not me! Not Hermione, you. Oh yeah, right in the penis. This is the run. Okay. You, you see me just flip that and catch it? Oh yeah. 
eat shit, Santa Claus. Down the hatch we go. Victory! And with that, everybody knew it. Everybody saw it coming. Happy Wheels, shit is gas. The three greatest Flash games that are still playable today. Balloons Tower Defense 3, Fancy Pants Adventures, and Happy Wheels. Thank you for watching. See you later, YouTube.